Hi, I'm Chris Johnson from Work Visa Lawyers, and welcome to our end of year update. And of course, Merry Christmas to anyone that celebrates Christmas. Thanks to all those people that have subscribed. We've hit 20,000 subscribers this week. The big news has been that the borders have opened from the 15th of December, and many skilled and student visa holders have started to arrive in Australia. We've noticed that partner visas are being processed much quicker than they used to be. Some offshore partner visas that have been put on hold are now being processed. There is also some news in terms of New South Wales. New South Wales has recently opened up for the 190 for offshore visas. This means that there's a selection of occupations that people can apply for from offshore. This includes engineering professionals, veterinarians, psychologists and social workers, and also teachers actually. So there are a range of occupations that you can now get. There are also other states that are doing this. There is now South Australia, Tasmania and New South Wales that are open to offshore applicants. Some predictions for 2022. Firstly, we would expect there to be more states opening up to offshore skilled visas in 2022. There will also be a big push from universities and educational institutions in Australia to get more international students. So if, if you're interested in studying in Australia, it might be a great time to start looking for educational enrolments. The direction of the Australian Migration Program may be changed in 2022, and it's all gonna come down to with the result of the federal election, which should be in around May 2022. If the Liberal Coalition government that is currently in power wins the upcoming election, then we can expect more of the same in terms of migration policies. This would include a focus on the global talent visa. It might also include the easing of some of the requirements for employer-sponsored visas. But it might take some time for those easings to be implemented. The agricultural visa would also continue to be rolled out by our Liberal Coalition. If the Labor Party wins, then there may be some changes. The changes could include a move away from the Global Talent Visa. So that would mean a reduction or even a removal of that visa. Um, it would also include an increase in GSM visas and particularly the Skilled Independent Visa, the 189 and also maybe the 190. Uh, Liberals are typically more in favour of the economically motivated visas, whereas the uh, Labor government is more focused on the family visas. So you might find that family visas, including partner visas and parent visas, might be treated more favourably under a Labor government. So that's enough of looking into the future. Um, we would just like to say thank you very much to everyone um, who's worked with us this year, all of our clients, and to all of our subscribers that have helped make this year a very successful year. And we wish you all the best for 2022. Please.